What's up guys, Brennan here with the Breaking Point TV. Just wanted to talk a little bit about our go-to archery targets. Now that we're here in summer, everybody's getting outside, kind of getting the itch for fall. It's time to fling arrows and it's time to fling a lot of them. Um, so whether you got an outdoor target that's beat up or if you just want to add another one to the backyard range, I'm gonna go over some of the morel targets that we shoot, the ones that we love and uh, kind of talk about each one and, and why we shoot them and why we prefer those ones in different kinds of scenarios. I'm sitting on a high roller, which is a foam target. It's got dice on it. Every side of it's shootable. It's rated up to 450 feet per second. Obviously, you'll stand up to any compound bow out there, any crossbow out there. One of the nicest things about this is the carrying handle on it. It's got a nice, strong tether rope on it. And really cool thing feature about this target is you can simply just throw it out and shoot it. So you grab it right by the tether and give it a toss and you're shooting arrows. Another one that I got sitting here is a uh, yellow jacket. What's nice about this is it's also good for compound, it's good for crossbows, it's good for fixed heads, it's good for broadheads, um, you know, expandables, everything. Both of these targets are pretty much our go-to while we're traveling on the road. They're small, they're light, they're easy to throw in the back of the truck, throw in the back seat of a car where you got tight spaces and you got limited room. Both of these targets are great from anything from field points to broadheads. The go-to home range target right here, the big old bag. This is what Morel's notorious for, is their big bag targets. I'm looking here at the Cam Haynes Keep Hammering bag. Um, it's awesome. I got the side right here with the deer vitals on it. This is the target that I'm shooting a lot when I'm at home in the backyard. It's not one that I like to take with me because it is very big. Just to keep mine in good shape, I went ahead and built a stand here. Got a roof over the top, that way this thing's not sitting out in the elements. But this target will literally take thousands and thousands of arrows. Super easy arrow removal. I stick to field points on this. I wouldn't recommend shooting uh, broadheads into it just because it's a bag target and you're gonna rip it up if you're pulling broadheads back through it. But awesome target for the backyard. Big, long range target. Takes a lot of arrows. Good all around backyard target. One other target that I like to keep in the backyard is their 3D Bionic Deer. And I got that over here. I'll show you that here in a second. But also a great backyard target. Not the most portable. So it's one that you wanna set up somewhere where you're gonna be shooting a lot and leave it goes into the ground easy, you drive two stakes into the ground, pop the deer up there, it's got a giant rack on it, so knock out all those kinks of buck fever come fall when you're shooting at 180 inch deer in the backyard. But great target, again, I like to stick with field points on the 3D target, just because it does have a burlap wrap over it, so broadheads are gonna pull out of it and kind of mess with that burlap. So I do stick with field points on both the bag targets and the 3D targets. Pretty much covered the basis of the targets that You'll find us shooting most of the summer and all the way through the season. Like I said, Morel's got about everything you'd ever want from bag targets to 3D targets to foam targets, portability, you name it. If you want one that's gonna stay put or if you want one that's gonna travel with you, if you want both. Um, so if you haven't already and you need a new target in the backyard or your dad needs one, head over to MorelTargets.com and uh, you won't be disappointed. Shoot a lot, shoot often, and good luck this fall.